Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. In today's video, I am going to talk about the difference between sum and sumx function in Power BI. So without any delay, let's get into the video. On a high level, sum function is used to take sum of all rows of a particular column. It's similar to sum function in any database. Like in SQL Server, we have sum function. So it's the sum function is in Power BI is also similar to uh, the sum function in SQL Server. And when it comes to sumx function, it's an iterative function. What the sumx function does is, first suppose if you want to make some calculation for every row and then after, after getting the result of that calculation, you want to sum the results from that calculation, you can use the sumx function. So what the sumx function does is, since it's an iterative function, it stores the result of each and every row in the memory and when, when the calculation of all the rows is complete only then it results the result set in the form of a table. So this is the use of sumx function. Also remember when you are using the sumx function if your data set is a large data set if it has a large amount of data then please remember you may have to wait for a certain amount of time because the sumx function is involved with the memory so it stores all the it stores all the calculations for every row in the memory and when all the calculations is complete when all the row calculations is completed only then you get the result set so for all this to happen it may take some time so just remember that and let's look at the example now so that you can understand it much better okay so if you look at this data set here, we have date, product, quantity and price. Okay, so uh, this data set, it tells us on what date, how many products we sent and what's the price of each product. And the column here, the F column here, this is the calculation, uh, we'll see it a little later. This data set, I have uh, inserted this into Power BI. When you look at the data here in the Power BI, on the right side, uh, you have the data set here. It's, I just named it as sheet one, just uh, took that from the Excel sheet. So um, here I have the filter for product and this one, the number you see here, it's the sum of all the products you sold, okay? And the, uh, the right one here, this number, it tells the total sale amount. So, uh, when do we use sum function here? when you just want to get the total of all the products sold if you see the data set here in excel if you just want to see this total the total here is 12 right so if you just want to see the total amount of products you sold then you can use the sum function you look at the formula i used for this so i highlighted this and on the right side you can see uh, the measure i used so if you see this measure it's the sum of quantity it's pretty straightforward and simple okay so so when you want to get the total of all the all the rows of a column you use sum function and if you look at this one the one i highlighted here if you look at this it's the uh, total sale amount this total sale amount if you look at the formula here getting the total sale, sale amount i am doing the multiplication of quantity and price okay so i'm doing the multiplication of quantity and price and then i'm summing all the uh, results of of that multiplication if you go back to this excel here uh, the one i wrote here 3 into 2.5 is 7.5 1 into 6.5 is 6.5 so it's the multiplication of quantity and price okay when you sum all these columns you get 37.9 and if you look at the Power BI uh, report here and the total sale amount is 37.9. You can also filter it by uh, the product you want for A. The product changes, the total amount changes, it's 20. And the sum of uh, product sold, product A sold is 8. If you look at um, product B, even this changes, the total sale amount for B product is 6.5. And the number of uh, products sold for this product for b product is just one if you want to take off the filter you can just clear the selection and this is how the uh, simple report looks like
I believe now you understood the difference between sum and sum x function and when to use uh, either of them. So if you just want to sum all the rows of a particular column, you just use sum function. It's a pretty simple function and it's very straightforward. But if you have to do some calculation for every row and then sum and then take the sum of uh, that calculated row, then you use sum x function. That's all for today. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.